mother is arrested after police say her child brought a gun to school. That child just six years old. Now, Tyranny Gray is charged with aggravated child endangerment. Here's WREG's Shea Arthur with how that gun was discovered in the first place. Memphis police tell us a teacher at Germanshire Elementary made a shocking discovery Tuesday. A gun, thankfully unloaded, found in a child's backpack. That student in kindergarten, just six years old. The teacher told investigators she was helping the child pack up when she noticed the backpack was unusually heavy. Inside the bag was a handgun. Police say when the child's mother, Tyranny Gray, came to the school, she said the gun was hers, telling officers she had the weapon hidden under the couch at her home. This discovery comes less than a week after police say another six-year-old brought a gun to school. In that case, Memphis Shelby County Schools resource officer said a six-year-old was passing around a handgun to other students in his class at Jeter K-8 school. Officers say a school staff member took the gun after finding it in the child's backpack. The student's mother was also arrested and charged in that case. Tennessee State Representative Antonio Parkinson has proposed legislation, House Bill 7011, about illegally gifting guns to young people. The last iteration of it made it a felony to do that, and it also would tie that adult to any crime that that minor committed with that illegally gifted gun. He was asked this week about the child accused of having the gun at Jeter K-8 school. I, I certainly hope that that parent did not give that gun to that six-year-old, but, but, you know, it would cover, that bill would cover, you know, this, you know, incidents like that. But right now, if they illegally, you know, gave, loaned, gifted, transferred, sold a gun to a minor, right now it's only a misdemeanor. For your news leader, Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3. Cracking down on the parents, too, and Gray is due in court tomorrow morning. In the meantime, we've reached out to Memphis Shelby County Schools about this most recent incident. We'll let you know when we hear back. And